Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Aliens Dark Descent. This will be the third one of the day as it is my best friend's birthday and he loves watching these or so, or so he told me. <laughs> so um, we're gonna continue where we left off which is in the refinery where we ended up in the basement there are some aliens walking around here, and I did miss, miss some things, including a data pad here, which uh, kind of sucks. Hmm. Stay yeah, oh well. And uh, apparently we have to get ready for a pretty big uh, thing here. Wow, now that I'm looking at the map, it, it looks even worse than uh, it looked the first time I, I checked. Right, so... Uh, we last last uh, episode we just grabbed some stuff from the surface, and we headed Don't into the basement comfy, okay? where we had a few issues with some aliens down here. You looking we for a nice spot for a picnic also or what? met the Praetorians for the first time, which I'm not sure what they actually do. As uh, oh, there's another ingress point right here. Let's right now drop down a mine. Banning mine. Watch your feet. I really love mines. They're they're so mines activated. entertaining to use. I don't want to go right there yet. And I would prefer to just pick up all the stuff here. We have one very stressed out Let's marine see what's here. Inside. Ooh, another med pack. You know what? I think we could actually use that on our marine. We can get a couple of sentries. Let's see what's oh, inside. Oh that's that's a lot of ammo here. Okay, we got this ingress point covered. We got this one covered. I think we might wanna... Actually, that area is pretty well covered. Although, you know what? Since we're here and since we're pretty uh, full on command points, on might it. as well find this place as well. Okay, more ammo. Banning mine. Watch your feet. Let's see what's inside. Mine's activated. Did we grab that? We did. Okay. Come on, everyone. This looks like an elevator. But let's grab everything first. I'll, I'll just inside. take everything because I don't plan a, I don't plan on returning to the basement anytime soon. Okay, and uh, you know what? This looks like a spot I would like to depend in. So, let's just start setting up our sentries. Got one here, Deploying which should be gun. good. Place one Sentry there. Ready. Maybe? Yeah. Don't think there's anything gonna come that's gonna come up from here, but you know what? Let's uh, double up here gonna do one more this way and one more this way hopefully we won't lose them sentry activated okay and I'm actually gonna take some anti-stress for our uh, I don't know what to call her. She she's a comm sergeant. Whatever. Oh, we'll call her comms. <laughs> don't get too comfy, okay? Okay. Oh, there's another ingress point right here. So, on my way. Banning you mine. know what to do with that? Put up, put up one under mine. Unfortunately, we're hey, I found something. pretty it's far like away from having uh, enough retribution. Okay. Data pad, Darwin Era Propaganda number 3. Authored by Prefect Vos Lu. It pleases me to report that Illuminary Marlow is satisfied with your work. By the tip of the pickaxe and the length of the train tracks, you brothers and sisters have made it possible. Your actions ensured that Lethe would be born again. The eggs of the Ascended, once hidden in the depths of these caves, are now free to spread across the moon. 
Further instructions will follow. For now, be proud of your dedication to the cause. A new era is upon us. And we also found this data pad. Alice Sanchez log. Lieutenant Alice Sanchez. Um, it's a message to Sergeant Hector Stone. Still no word from Pharaoh Spire. So I guess it's up to us to keep those creepy fuckers out of here. Up the patrols and weld all the doors on the main access level apart from the emergency access ramp. It's a natural bottleneck, so we'll cover it with sentry guns. If those insurgents come crawling in that way, we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Keep an eye on the grunts, would you? When the time comes, we need to be sure everyone holds their place on the line. I don't much care for taking a bullet in the back because someone's bought into the bullshit these weirdos are selling. I hope Price keeps her word. Fuck! These containers are empty. We're too late. Right. Incoming critters, a shed load of them, requesting fire support. Guys, I can't even see you. Oh. Okay, this will call the ARC, the ARC to us. Will have to do. Back to the elevator, Marines. Okay, I'll come you know what? You. Let's call the elevator and uh Well, our sentries are set up at least, All so right, let's see what's in there. Oh, they're coming from every direction. I don't think they can come in through here. Hi, Marines, stay close to me and let the big guns do the talking. Hold tight, squad. I'm almost there. Interesting. There is one at the door here. We're trapped! Shit! We've got eight coming! Don't worry, guys, I'm coming. Get ready for evac. You like that, huh? Mine got tripped. Let's Let there be drop a couple of flares. And uh we Oh yeah. Burn! Right, let's uh repair and pick up this sentry gun and you know what? I think I'll take this one as well. Alright. Who am I speaking to? No, let me guess. You're Marlow, right? And we'll keep our Marines here. They can get in cover. Everyone got the level up. We're out of meds, so we can't really um, heal any traumas, which kind of sucks. I think this is a vampire. Have we met? We get these really fast before anyone comes. Lost sheep into the new era. But I'm afraid you've proven yourself quite the disruptive influence already. I cannot permit that to continue. Oh, Listen this to me, one. you piece of shit. Oh, Sergeant. Don't take it the wrong way. It's a little bit out of ammo. Can we reload? Reload. Contact! Runner, kill it! Right, let's press that way. Shotgun. And we can actually... Oh, that's definitely not good. Let's uh, do tactical analysis and claim this area. Ah. Let's right now. see, can we repair this? Oh, shit. That structure. Sarge, I'm sorry, it didn't work. Oh shit. Now get out of here before they take you down. Hayes, I have to tell you. Later, Sergeant. I'm trying something. Ho hold on. Martinez, give me a hand. More. Everything you've got. I'm launching it in 30 seconds. Hayes? What are you doing? Hayes! Hunzit, keep your distance. 
I have one satellite turned bomb coming in hot. Oh. Wait a minute. A bomb? That's our way off, Marines. Move out. That could work. I could have done this in the last episode. <laughs> oh, did it pick our sentry guns? I, I think we left two sentry guns behind there, which uh, kind of sucks, but I'm really happy we picked the other two up. Um. Oh, well, that, that was a mission. We missed two data pads, but we finished all our primary and secondary objectives. And in the final fight, I don't think our mar marines took too much damage. So uh, let's check the report. They're all... Oh, God. Well, next mission is going to be rookies again. But sure, let's uh, go ahead and deal out the promotions. This is our sniper boy, Poker, and uh, he has fast deployment, so that's actually pretty cool. I think I mentioned in the last episode when I got uh, fast movement on another um, rookie marine that uh, the class recon actually gives this... Um, this uh, buff so I didn't pick it on the other one unfortunately I do have <laughs> fast on him <laughs> which is oh well I, I didn't know back when I picked it and unfortunately they don't stack which uh, is really stupid right so let's see what does he have sharpshooter mind of steel and team spirit I love team spirit okay um, we can't get an upgrade for him right here Avenger. More retribution points. That sounds cool. Dead Eye also sounds pretty good, but you know what? I'll take Sharpshooter any day of the week over the rest. The faster you kill them, the less chance they have of approaching. Right. Next up, it is Spark, the Decker. And, uh,. He unlocked Sentry Gun Overcharge. Oh, it costs tools. That's that's not fun, but uh, improves the damage. So I, I guess it could be a good trade, though because you never know what's coming, I would never know when to use this. Because I'm, I'm generally a, a loot hoarder and a goblin. I never use potions in Skyrim because I think I'll need them at a different date. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this will probably never get used, unfortunately. Right, and she has Tough, Deadeye, Sharpshooter, and Bold. Let's see what we get. Enduring. Hmm. I don't see the value of this when you can just take Toughness, which increases maximum health, and also uh, the Threshold. Along with it, the threshold at which uh, the wound effect is applied. Dead Eye level 2 is not bad. Hardened, another armor point. You know what? Uh, he doesn't have... A oh, he has one level of accuracy. And I also gave him a sight, so that's plus 10 accuracy. You know what? Dead Eye seems pretty good. In that case. The important thing is that she actually managed... Uh, he actually manages to to hit someone. Right, calm. Um, she has charismatic, which gives bravery points. Sharpshooter, looter, which gives more uh, materials, 
and bold. And we got enduring, don't care, tough sounds pretty good, fast again is completely useless if we have a recon. So I'll take another point of tough, I think, for extra health. It's good to have her always up so we can uh, um, have that command point boost at all times. Unfortunately, she is exhausted, so she will have to skip the next mission, I think. And finally, Pills, the doc. Uh, she has first aid instructor. Um, sharpshooter, bold. And finally, team spirit. Oh, that would be actually amazing. Might of steel, mm, not that good. You know what? I'll take team spirit. One more command point for every two marines with the squad. I would like to have this on all marines in the squad for so many command points, because if you have enough command points, it just... I, I At least I think it would turn combats into uh, child's play. You just grenade everything with no problems. But yeah. So those were the level ups. We got one more engineer. That's five more materials per day. Uh, but since days increase the planetary uh, infestation level, I'm not sure how good engineers actually are. We got 19 Xeno samples. We killed a couple of Praetorians, which I still don't know what they do. Every time we ran into one, they appeared to just try and retreat and ran off. Although in lore, from what I remember, Praetorians were kind of like... Uh, Kind of like Queen's Guards, they they would go in, um, they they would be exiled from a hive, and they would uh, go on to survive uh, wherever else until they basically evolved from drones out in the wild into Praetorians, which is, I think, the most elite level of Xenomorph form you can get. Um. They should be super tanky, they should be extremely powerful, but uh, apparently they, they don't do that here. <laughs> right, so uh, we started up with two tools, we still have two tools, we lost two medical supplies which we dropped in with, and we lost... Um, actually, we dropped in with two sentry guns and we came out with two sentry guns, so... Yeah, we lost those two guns that we uh, left behind. It would have taken tools to repair them anyway, so I guess it's an okay trade. Okay. I'm not sure what trap this. Oh, it's uh when when we wait for um when we wait for when we waited for Evac to come. Killed five face huggers, a crusher, 63 drones, two Praetorians, 37 runners and 45 Darwin era cultists. This mission took one in 10 minutes and totally we spent uh, almost two hours in here. Okay. Not bad, Hayes, for a corporate drone. Not that I ain't grateful, but why'd you do it? Your satellite just went up in smoke. In the company, there's a protocol for everything until there isn't. Ever since Pioneer Station, I've been drowning. The big picture gave me something to hang on to, but at the end of the day, the big picture is just... people. Speaking of which, any news from Pharaoh Spire? I sent Hunslet over to the capital to perform recon. The anti-air defenses of Jackson's Landing are still active. They took offense at her transponder codes and nearly shut her up for good. It doesn't tell us much. The Spire is a state-of-the-art building. They'll be automated. True enough. So, for now, we keep on keeping on. Maybe this Marlow we ran into... I did into. a bit of digging. He's a Wayland yutani bioengineer. No one's heard from him for years. Well, they have now. So what do you want to do, Administrator? We better work together. All right. Then start with what happened back there. Hayes, it's really... Listen, Harper, when you get crazy like that, you put every single one of us at risk. We need to know what happened. If it was that special feeling of It yours. wasn't. I snapped, okay? I heard a name, and I snapped. What are you talking about? Cassandra. That's the name I heard. 
That's the name of my daughter. You have a daughter? Oh, it's his daughter. You're Lethe? What, it's his sister. Don't you think that was worth mentioning? She hates my guts, all right? I wasn't around much when she was little. We haven't spoken since her mother's funeral. Becca just rotted from the inside out. Folk do that here. It's the main reason I joined up way back then. I had to get out, you know? Is this working? Yes? Good. Administrator Hayes and Sergeant Harper to the lab. If, if you would. Hold that thought, Sergeant. We're not done here. Right. So, Cassandra is the sergeant's daughter. We heard that name, actually, and apparently, um, she she's uh, she's running with the cultists. With, uh, yeah. So, if it's the same Cassandra, that's that's not good. And of course, it's a video game, so it's probably the same Cassandra. Not sure what we'll do about that. So let's jump into the lab. Have a nice we day, there. Deputy. Ah, thank you both for coming. Out with the doctor. There's a lot going on. More than you know. I've been analyzing your recent encounters with the Darwin era, cross-referencing with survivor reports, and, well, I, I won't bore you with the details. And yet you are. Easy, Sergeant. Doctor, what have you found? In short, they have found a way to walk among these critters, as you put it. Some cultists seem to carry a preliminary step of the specimen in some sort of device, here, right between their lungs. This allows them to move around older creatures, while your marines are systematically attacked. Fascinating, isn't it? Just what we needed. More good news. What can we do? At the moment? Uh, nothing, I think. Unless you've revised your policy regarding live specimens, Administrator. She didn't, and she's right. No creatures allowed. End of discussion, Doc. Yeah. As we know from all... All of the alien movies, games, comics, basically everything, live specimens are a bad idea. The critters are smart, and they will find a way to ruin your day, month, planet, ship, everything. <laughs> right, so we do have a couple of things we didn't research. Increases detection time of the squad by 10%. So usually detection time is like, what, I'm gonna say a couple of seconds? 10%? Doesn't seem that much. And it costs 10 to actually get the project running. And Probably another two Xeno samples just to put it on the squad because they, they don't come equipped with it. Extraction device? Huh. The problem is you never know when you're gonna run into uh, eggs. And again, it's 10 points plus another couple of points to run the extraction device. So, you know what? I don't think I'll research it just now. I'll... I'll I'll wait for it a bit longer. Now, when we're sure we're gonna walk into a hive, I'm definitely gonna research both of them and put them on. But until then, I'll, I'll leave them here. Let's... Stay safe out there. <sighs> this just gets better and better, doesn't it? All the more reason to save everyone we can, like you said. Or are you only here for your daughter? Cassandra's part of it. Maybe even the largest part, but it's not the whole. Wouldn't want you thinking I'm a hypocrite now. How old is she? She'd be 17 now. If she's even alive. You've seen these psychos. They're experimenting on people, on their genes. And they gave my daughter's name to their pet project. That can't be a good sign. What would they be after? I'm not sure. I've been having... Flashes. I guess you'd call them visions. Nothing I can really explain, but sometimes it's like I can feel what those creatures are thinking. Well, I guess these maniacs would find that useful. I know, right? If Cass and I share this ability, maybe they're looking for her. Or worse, she joined them willingly. I don't believe it. I mean, she's your daughter. 
She's probably just as stubborn as a USCM sergeant. But what if they did something to her? What if she's changed and I don't recognize her anymore? Would she even recognize me? It's okay. We'll find her. You got this, Jonas. <laughs> it's been years since anyone called me that. Hudson to Otago! Otago, do you Shit. copy? What now? That doesn't sound good. Hazlitt was circling around the ship when she picked up movement. Looks like recon oh. paid off. The bad news is, those creatures are really interested in us. If we let even one of them get on board the Otago, this is over. Agreed. Looks like it's time to kick ass. Okay, um... So we have a problem here, because most of our veterans are pretty injured. Let's check the workshop. We have 250 materials, and we could unlock the heavy pulse rifle for 200 and an RPG launcher. Huh. So, 80 to 120 damage, 45 meter range. More chance of dismemberment. And do we have the... Okay. Uh... Right, so this is 1020 damage. Huh. It is a lot of damage for the RPG launcher. Do I actually want it? It would take a spot on one of our marines. You know what, and what, what we would we actually use it for? I mean, secondary special weapons only cost command points to use. But, I mean, uh, it, it could help take out the larger xenomorph specimens. Mm, I'll think about it. For now, heavy pulse rifle sounds amazing, and I'll definitely I'm sure our that. will appreciate Let's go to the med quarters, see who we can heal up. This is... Oh, we actually don't have any available physicians, so that completely sucks. But... Uh, this let's see who we down. could equip with a heavy pulse rifle. Alright, so the problem with the heavy pulse rifle is... It does do... The... Damage 1, 2, 2 ammo per burst. This actually is more expensive at 3 ammo per burst, but it has a larger clip by 25. A bit higher dismemberment chance. And a longer burst duration. You know what? I'll, I'll put it just on a couple of our marines. Let's say we do... The tech and um, maybe the sergeant. What did I teach you, Marine? Salute. Yeah, let's let's do the tech and the sh the sergeant. I think that'll be good. Other than that, I'd rather keep them open. This let's one see. Won't let you Can down. we add any other upgrades to our guys? Tactical drone welder. I don't think I care about that. I mean. Long-range welding while we usually weld only when we are in trouble. Or not in trouble, but trying to rest. And at that point, we might as well just uh, use a marine to weld. I think this is a waste of... Uh, a waste of points. We only have 50 points left. Oh, does actually equipping uh, soldiers with uh, gear cost... Salute. No. Didn't we have... Did we only have 250 points? I think we did. Well, that's that. Alright, let's see. Our sniper guy, we could get... I wouldn't mind getting pouches for him. He is wounded, though. Let's see. This you know what? You down. Deck. Uh... I'm, I'm not sure who to put this on.
yeah, uh, our, our smart gunner <laughs> uh, is going to be called Soup, which is short for support. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think... Um, I think I our deck is Salute. gonna get um, the extra pouches. Gonna help us get some more uh, tools and med kits back to base and also carry a few more, which is really good. Alright, we I don't think we have anything else in the workshop. So um, let's uh, let's advance to the next day, I guess. New objectives are awaiting your review. As the Otago is getting encircled, a group of people manage to sneak by them and reach the ship. They identify as USCM. Alright. But we get to rescue four marines. I'm I'm gonna guess that these are actually given to us so we can survive being attacked on the Otago. Right, we have, have a nice day. more marine Definitely promotions, and you know what, I think this episode will mostly be spent on the Otago. I don't think I'll jump in the next mission, because uh, these things usually take a whole one hour episode. So, uh, we'll just this one upgrade the rest, down. fix up our guys, and then um, Bravo Zulu. we'll see what else we can do around here. So it's gonna be a bit of a different episode, and I'm sorry about the weird pacing, but that's what we can do. All right. Let's see. What does he have? Poor health. Oh, right. So, tall, Marine. luckily, there was a redemption promotion, which removes that crate, and we will definitely take it because that crate is uh, definitely not good. Right. Next up, a brawler. Okay, if we have a medic with this guy, uh, and maybe we will be able to turn him into a medic, we could just completely cancel this this whole uh, Bravo problem. Zulu. And um, big hands, unbreakable will, and enduring. You know what? Unbreakable will sounds amazing. No longer tired. Okay, next up, we have Duncan Torrance, a rookie. He is already exhausted. Um, was he actually in a mission? I'm sorry, my phone decided to do stuff. And he is a rebel. Not affected by reprimand. Prevents the stress from increasing during the next 30 seconds. That's reprimand. Um... I mean, this is an easy workaround. We just don't reprimand him. Stand tall, Marine. Although, if we get the redemption crate, we might as well take it. Avenger, hardened. You know what? I'll, I'll take Avenger for this one. Okay, I think that was it for the promotions. We have 55 materials now, so I might actually get another set of um, of big pockets not sure on who though Mark already has it so how about this we one give it to poker down. I'm not sure if he'll unlock different upgrades when he hits level 10 um, sergeant's fully upgraded this one's fully upgraded you know what let's let's hmm Increase stress when they are uh, healed. You know what? This might actually help. I'll take this one instead. Okay. Other than that, nothing in the workshop training room. We actually have quite a few Marines in the training room. I'm not going to add more in there. So, let's jump to the medical quarters. Luckily, a lot of our Marines have uh, pretty much recovered. We could... So we could heal three marines like this and uh, take a day off of Oker's um, healing, although they're all tired, which 
really, really sucks. Actually, Soup is not tired. This Kill one's him a priority. Up. Understood. Saints is not tired, so she's pretty low, but you know what? Might as well take her. And I don't think I want pills. Yeah, let's let's fix this one's a priority. Saints up. Understood. Fully fix her up for him. And um I want more this one's a priority. One day off Understood. of poker. And hopefully he'll he'll uh, heal up by the time we get back. Also now we gotta take soup with us. Which really sucks. Um she's the only one with trauma. But we can't really Need do a anything gun, about it, unfortunately. Um submachine guns could be cool for secondary weapons. We might want to unlock those. They're a bit better than the pistol and the revolver, one free damage, one ammo per burst. Wow. Uh oh it has six ammo. Bigger burst duration. Revolvers are pretty good, I think. Might be better than the submachine guns. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. Alright. So, Hello, let's jump into the command deck. Uh, and we will just... I just want to check what's going to be in the next mission. Lacey's Wastelands. Understood. And... Uploading mission data. Our squad's gonna be Soup, Saints, Mori, and Neron or Neron. Do we have anyone else to replace them? No, we do not. So, um, actually, right. Um, Soup's good. She's got no trauma. We could actually put something bigger on her, like an incinerator incinerator unit. But. Um, you know what, she'll probably mostly spend her time suppressing, so let's equip these other guys with incinerator unit, mine, and you know what, I, I prefer to have two shotguns. So this guy's rusty, he will be exhausted, or this marine is rusty, so she will be exhausted at the end of the deployment, which we don't really care about, because uh, we'll, we'll have... Um, other marines come out of tired by the time we do that. Undisciplined. Um, okay. If we had two of these, uh, it would reduce the maximum command points. Luckily, he's alone, so I don't think this will affect us. And finally, Neron has Jinx, which makes their weapon have a chance of jamming, which completely sucks, but... Hey, what are you gonna do about it? Um, we can't actually equip them with a heavy pulse rifle because they are not high enough rank. Right, but this will be what we will run into this mission. And we will probably take a couple of tools, a couple of med packs, and yeah, two of all, and probably both of these, because we have a lot of pulse rifles with grenade launchers, so these will help a lot. But we are not going to deploy right now, we'll leave that for next episode. Hello, Administrator Hayes. Uh, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger like this, but I don't think we will have time to finish the missions mission, and I don't want to stop in the middle of a mission again. But this was the episode, we actually managed to finish the third big map. Uh, we had to do it in two different deployments. And that last part, which is at the beginning of this episode, was quite a doozy. There were a lot of aliens and even four sentry guns had trouble keeping them all at bay. Unfortunately, we lost two of our sentry guns. Our marines got a little bit wounded, but not 
too bad and now the otago is under attack so stay tuned for the next episode and we'll see how we resolve this we are in the wasteland so i'm guessing everything will be outside which honestly makes me very happy because i don't like mines basements refineries and so on <laughs> but yes this has been chromanem i hope you enjoyed this episode and as always see you next time and happy birthday my friend i hope you enjoyed <laughs>